Hello everybody, welcome to Had a Full Boyfriend. This is a game about, well, dating pigeons. It's a pigeon dating simulator where you are the only human at a school full of pigeons. I actually played this for you guys, but then after I looked at my recording, you couldn't even hear me, so that's great. Um, so we're just gonna start a new one anyway, even though I know everything that's gonna happen, but you guys don't. Music is extremely loud for my... for me. There we go. Is variant origin okay? Yes. Had a full boyfriend includes powerful visualization mo module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Yeah, they're great, by the way. Configuration saved. St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of diverse blend of birds, of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not yet every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota. Usually you had been ready for, by, for an hour by now, Variant. Overslept? Look at this adorable little fucker. I love his eyes. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he is responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't li relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. Maybe, or I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need a hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what, what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all the lost fun. So I was curious whether or not this had like a one before this because they talk about last semester or last year and like if there is, could you guys tell me? Because that would be great and I'd love to play it. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange fr thrill fills my heart as I look around at assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. 
Um, Nanaki Kazu Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. Sleep sounds. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? Look at this adorable little guy. Our teacher. He's so adorable and innocent looking. This quail, quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famous soporific math professor. I he I'd heard the, the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Uh, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiro Game. <clears throat> what is the point? I have no wish to speak t with these commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to injure himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and will turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, uh, when you put it that like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogain? Shirogain La Belle Sakuya. He's cute, but he's a priss. It seems this fan tale is Shirogain Sakuya. I can, uh, his feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can become friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm origin variant, a sophomore. What about you? Your Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. So innocent looking and shy. Aww. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting peep meeting depressing people today. They're not people, they're birds. 
Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll, I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should be instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have- I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait a- That music, though. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Saki- Sakazaki Yua is Sakia's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Oh shit. You heard that th whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakia's? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. No sweat. I try to say sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't cool. See, this guy I like. He's adorable. I like his eyes. This fantail pigeon is Sakaz Sakazaki Yua, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Everybody knows him. You're a variant, right? How'd you know? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were friends with Sakia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never ha have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of, pain of a pain, so good luck. Mon ami, adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yu Yuya, though probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay. Huh? S Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. No birdie here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryota! No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got some kinds of drugs here. I'm not going to pronounce those. What do these even do? Care to find out? Doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you. I like him. Like if this is- I might- I might pick him. I like him. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. 
Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with things that I thought the first one said asparagus. <laughs> or even worse things. And I never heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be in here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come and find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, <sighs> finally out of the den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there's clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always fun to, me to watch birds hop around. Alright, so when I first recorded, this is where I left off, but I think I'll go a little further. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo! This is no pudding for a man. <laughs> what? Oh, there's only an S right there. Then his name would be Sans. Coo! Okasan rejects it. It's it is a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. This pigeon is probably psycho. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. What a wonderful human portrait. This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look like it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Koo, Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Koo! Oko-san instructed that p pudding be provided for new members. Coo! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. Wow, overdramatic. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo! Coo! Spare the jest, young lady. Okusun used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> Fair enough. Koo! They'll rule the day they crossed Okusun. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Koo! Okusun must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. Mm -hmm. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but does pudding have to do with the track team? And so the end of the day, uh, the end of the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. Alright, so I'll end the episode here since it's a new day. Or, yeah, it's a new day. So. I guess this is a new game series. I'm also playing Portal. I'll probably post that before this. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a great day, guys. <laughs>